Hi, uh, this is LFIAA, Lee Style, Tai Chi, Ruling Hands, uh, practice video blog, uh, going through various steps, leading uh, an individual from beginner level up into intermediate level uh, in the practice of the Lee Style, Ruling Hands. Uh, this particular video blog, we're going to talk about soft and heavy power uh, used within the practice of the Whirling Hands. Uh, in my own practice and seeing other people using whirling hands, very rarely do you see them using full-on power. It's usually very light and very gentle with each other, uh, which then makes it very hard for the person to develop their listening skills uh, to feel the intent of the person's uh, attempt to try to knock them off balance. So, thumbs up. Uh, so, obviously, soft power is where I just gently touch my partner's body with the back of his hand or I gently touch him with my elbow. Uh, this is really not the right type of power that you want within the practice of whirling hands because the whole aim of this is to develop my ability through our sense of contact with each other to develop our ability to feel, listen to our partner's intent to issue strength towards us. And if he's just issuing soft power towards us all the time, then there's no real threat there in the sense that he's going to knock me off balance. I can just allow him to touch me. So what we want is then to be able to press my hand against his body so that he has then, through a sense of touch, has got to feel which hand he use to attack. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean his hand. It could also mean his elbow. It could also mean he's going to use his shoulder to bump. But the whole purpose of this is that I'm going to do it with sufficient force that he can feel it and I'm going to try to upset his balance so that gradually the level will start to lead you to freestyle position. Every time the balance is broken we change our stance. Remembering we've got to learn to use circles. So you've got to feel when your partner's going to attack and when he's going to defend. Every time we break balance, we switch the stance. So the power issued has to be strong. If you break grip, reset, start again. So this is using soft power to feel and strong power to attack. You've got to make your attacks strong because then your partner can feel through practice and improve the sense of touch. Thank you. Thank you.